Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the usage of condition names, usage of sign and class test condition. First, let us see the usage of condition names. Level number 88 is used to define the condition names. It takes the value true or false depending on the value of the data item with which it is associated. The value class of the associated data item is used to identify the value which makes the condition name true. Condition names are defined immediately after the definition of the data item with which they are associated with. We can use the condition names for group as well as elementary data item. Let's see the example. The first example, it handles the error condition using this error flag. For this purpose, we use the condition names. ER error detected. If error detected means Y. If error not detected means N. In the second example, we can handle with sign value. We can validate uh, the data name, whether the data name contains any sign value or not. For that purpose, we can use condition names. So you can code like this, sign positive value y, sign negative value n. We can also use the condition names to validate the set of values. For example, account number. Uh, we can uh, have the range of uh, account values. Account range 1 through 10,000, 10,001 through 20,000. So this example validates the marital status of a person. Here 88 condition values are single, married, widows, etc. In the COBOL program you can handle uh, the status like if single, what is the logic, else what is the logic. sign and class test condition sign test is used to check the sign of a data item whether the sign is having the positive or negative like that class test is used to check the data type of the identifier you can also define your own class in the special name paragraph this is a syntax of class test if identifier is numeric then the cobol uh, statements else what is the cobol statements let us see the purpose of sign and class test with an example Here I am validating the sign value. If ws num is positive, then I am displaying ws num is positive. If ws num is negative, then I have to display ws num is negative. 